Hello everybody and welcome back. We are on vlog 13. Anyway, um, in this vlog we will be getting all the ingredients we need to protect the spirit tree and we will be uh, planting it. Anyway, as normal we will start off with uh, the level updates. Um, so, uh, as far as combat stats go, they're all the same. Um, magic is actually up by one level. Runecrafting is up by, I think it's three. Um, Instruction's the same. Engineering, that's up by three. Um, Hunter's the same. Slayer, same. Fletching's the same. Crafting, that's up by six. Um, Thieving's the same. Herbalor is the same. Agility, that's up by 1. Mining's up by 2. Um, smithing's the same. Fishing, that that's the same. Uh, cooking, I got that up 5. Um, cutting's the same. Um, farming, that's now 83. Um, yeah, it's that means we can plant that spirit tree. And uh, summoning, that's up by, I believe, 5 levels as well. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go through the contents of this episode. Um, of course, we do level updates, so that's already done. And I'm going to talk about the Livid Farm, um, talking about getting back into Slayer, um, talk about bot questing day, um, talk about cooking, um, talk about fraps, um, talk about a new computer, talk about... Um, uh, like uh, how I had plop last week. So uh, let's g let's get started. We're gonna teleport to Apatol. Anyway, so I'm gonna start off on our first topic, which is the Livid Farm. Um, yeah, Livid Farm was. Uh, well, I I decided to uh, unlock all the requirements for Livid Far Livid Farm. Um. And I tried it out, it wasn't too bad. Um, I, I got one level in magic, but that's about it. Um, don't know if I'll do it again, maybe. I did actually plan to do it for this vlog, but decided not to. Um, yeah, but Lunar Diplomacy was a really fun quest by itself anyway. So yeah, it was worth it for uh, Lunar Diplomacy, that was really cool. Um, like, th the city and everything, um, that, that's really cool, I, li I liked it, it was a good quest. And, uh, my favorite part is the chicken house, if you've ever, if you've ever done that quest before. <laughs> the chicken house is the best part by far. Okay, let's teleport out of here. Um, so yeah, liver farm, it's pretty cool. Um, I might do it some more, I don't know if it was actually really worth it or not, but, yeah. We'll see. Okay, teleport to Camelot. Wonder why that guy doesn't attack you. <laughs> anyway, um, oh yeah, I forgot. I have to actually like make a sapling and water it. There we go. Um, spirit seedling. It's gonna be pretty cool. Um, next thing on our list to talk about. Um, getting back into Slayer, um, yeah, as you all know that on Tuesday it'll be triple Slayer XP, and hopefully a lot less bots, so, uh, like, the only reason why I stopped doing Slayer is because of all the bots, at, like, all, like, at Tura, Turas, um, at, like, Black Demons and stuff, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna probably, uh, get back into Slayer, as long as I have time to, because, uh, yeah, it's not something you can do homework while you do. Yeah, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so I might get back into Slayer if, if I actually... Yeah, I don't know. If, if the bot thing works out, then... Uh, if the bot busting works out, then I will get back into Slayer. And I'll be fun. I'll be uh, doing Slayer, like, all Tuesday. Um, and the bot busting uh, day... 
Um, I, I don't know, there's a lot of mixed opinions about this right now, because uh, a lot of people uh, actually don't believe that it's even going to happen or come close to happening. Um, but, I, like, reading that post, it looks pretty promising, as, uh, like, re reading what, what it has to say, and that they're kind of, like, apologizing with, like, the bonuses, and there's going to be, like, so everyone, everyone can, uh, like, uh, I think they want people just to see how fun it, the game actually would be without the bots, um, since, so that's why there's, like, the bonuses, they want people to really get into it really get into like doing that type of stuff right away um so people when they like uh maybe they'll get back, like good terms back on Jagex again so uh, you know what I mean like uh I don't know what I'm talking about anyway um so yeah I kind of think that this actually might work out and um I, I really hope it does at least um this is a really cool ship from the Loaded Opponents, yeah, I like it. Um, so yeah, um, I think, like, Jagex will take a big money loss, but, like, personally, I, I, would, I wouldn't mind if they just raised the membership by, like, $5 or something. That I'd be willing to pay that. Like, um, uh, it's really not that big of a deal of, like, $5 to raise a membership to keep Jagex still in business and whatnot, but all with, um, uh, with all the loss of money from banning bots, but it's, it, the game would just have to rebuild itself, really. Um, and that ban of squad sort spec just failed. Um, so yeah, it, like, uh, the game would just have to rebuild, it, it, may, t it may drop a lot, and they may, uh, lose a lot of money at first. But the game eventually will get more and more actual real players, and it would just have to rebuild. And it could turn out to be one of the biggest games online. Um, so yeah, and this this um, Su Kwa, I don't know what to say, it's a tank. Anyway, moving on from these uh, bots, personally I think they will get, like, get taken away, but, I don't know, 98% it says, but that kind of, uh, that kind of backfired on me, because that kind of sounds like a made-up number, but, I don't know, we'll see, and come on, tooth, darn it, um, take the bones, and anyway, die, Suqua, we're running for your mama. Anyway, um, for a while I decided to take a little shot at 99 cooking, and I decided that I would rather have a 99 untrimmed game. So that's why I'm up 5 levels from 77 to 82. It's because I decided to do a bunch of, uh, cooking. I don't know. I can do it while, while I'm doing homework, though, so I kind of like that. I think I'm going to do wood cutting while I'm doing my homework, like, next time. Because, yeah, I think woodcutting's the only skill I don't have in the high scores right now. So, yeah. And here we go. We've got a Suqua Tooth. And, I forgot. I need, um... I need to grind, grind, grind this up. Um... And then, yeah. Here, let me see, actually, if I do have to grind it up. Because if I grind it up and I wasn't supposed to grind it up, that would suck. Um... Let's see... Um, five monkey nuts, monkey bar, and a ground up soup lot too. Did I buy enough monkey nuts? One, two, three, four, five, good. Phew. Imagine if I didn't buy enough. Okay. Um, and we're, and the sapling is growing. I just realized that. Um, we're gonna get out. Pestle and mortar. And Ziggy's messaging me. Sorry, I can't really reply right now. It's kind of distracting to try and reply to people while vlogging. Um. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Fraps is uh is being quite annoying right now. I've had to re or like reinstall it quite a few times. Don't know why, but like it's not connecting to uh 
RuneScape anymore. It's not working how Fraps is supposed to work. It's, um, it doesn't really matter that much, but it's just, it's just, um, uh, annoying when I try and edit and when I, uh, it always ends up in a little bit lower resolution than it should. And, uh, yeah. So, it's kind of annoying. And, uh, let's charter to Brimhaven. Because that's where I'm going to plant. That's where I'm going to plant my, um, uh, spirit tree. There's three places where you can, uh, plant it. One by Port Serum, but that's pretty useless to me. As I can just use, like, a cabbage port and be, like, 15 seconds away from it. Um, there's one on Acturna, but... I never go there anymore, and I could just use my uh, ring of wealth to teleport there if I really wanted to. But then there's one here, which is in a actually really convenient spot for when I'm doing uh, farm runs. Okay, I'm gonna rake the spirit tree patch. Okay, I'm gonna rake the ground in front of the spirit tree patch. <laughs> there we are, and then we're gonna plant. And now we're gonna pay, um, pay the gnome. That will do nicely, sir. Leave it with me. I'll make sure that tree grows up good and strong. There we are. Spirit tree takes like pretty much three days to grow, though, so it's gonna be a long time till I actually have it grown. Um. Anyway, moving on. Um. I would. I want an Alienware Dell MX17. It's actually a really nice computer. Oops. Um, really, really nice computer. It's supposed to be like the strongest gaming computer in the universe. So yeah, that's 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 really uh worth it. It costs one thousand one hundred and something dollars. So I'm gonna see if I can save up that much money. If I can, then huzzah! I will have a uh, Dell Alienware computer. Anyway. Uh, Sorry, um, mom just walked in for a second there. Um, anyway, like I was saying, um, it's extremely strong computer. Um, I will be saving up for it. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of excited to get this computer. It's got 500 gigabytes of memory, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and did I just see a penguin? Come on. Load. Is that a penguin there? No. You're kidding me, that wasn't a penguin. I saw like a penguin right here. Anyway, so yeah, it's got 8 gigabytes of RAM, 500 gigabytes of, uh, um, uh, 500 gigabytes of, uh, memory. Um, it is, uh, Windows 7, um, 17 inch screen, I believe. And yeah, so, I, I would really want that computer. Um, oops, crap. Um, and also, last, very last topic, is, um, should I, uh, bring Plop back? Remember last week I had a guest? Um, so, yay or nay, do you, do you want me to invite Plop back? I don't even know if he wants to come back or not, but, um, should I invite him back? Um, so, yeah. Um, tell me what you think if if you liked having Plop on the show last week. So I'm a number responding is the best way to tell me what I'm doing right and wrong. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching uh, vlog number 13. For, sorry for that little interruption. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and uh, goodbye.